start her off. Hey, Mike, how's uh, practice going so far? All right, practice has been good. I mean, it's been really competitive. It's nice this year being able to go five on five every day, which we weren't able to last year in the fall. So uh, it's been real positive. Uh, the energy has been positive, and it's been a lot of fun. I remember you being as eager as anybody to get some new transfers in here. What do you think of the new guys so far? What's your initial reaction to them? Uh, they're all really good. They're all they're all going to help, help us this year. They've all been great uh, on the court and off the court for our culture, leadership. And um, each one of them, Mar they bring something different, each of them. Marquise is a point guard who could really score and get others involved. And he's a a nat defensively mark strong and athletic wing who could really guard too and then uh and can shoot the ball and ish as well could really shoot it and uh gives us sign different at six nine can pass the ball too on on mark specifically what what's impressed you most with him um his 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 physicality more than anything i mean he's he's very strong he could get rebounds that a lot of guys his size can't get, and he could get to the basket and make plays that are, are bigger than his size. So that's what is the most impressive about him to me. And uh, I know the last couple of years haven't gone the way you wanted, but are you thinking things will be different this year? What are, what are kind of your expectations now? Yeah, I mean, the past two years haven't been uh, very, very good here, but we, we expect it to be better. Um, but talking about it, hoping for it isn't going to get it done. So we got to go out and make it happen. Cool. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Uh, next question to Karen Kornacki. Hey, Mike, how are you today? Doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. I just wanted to ask you what you think of this team so far. Um, you know, you mentioned some of the new faces in there. I've never seen anything like it in basketball with people moving from one place to another and whatever. But when you look at this group that you have, what do you see kind of developing here that might give you an idea of what this team's going to be like? Um, I think it's just depth and versatility. Uh, we got we got different lineups we could go to. Um, different different people that could have go for twenty on any given night. Wow. And, um, I think it's it's going to be a lot of fun, and but more than anything, we want to keep uh, defense number one, and uh, that's what Coach Weber has really emphasized. And I think it'll be very dominant defensively. And what's it been like for you? I mean, you've been the guy who's been there, but with all these people coming in and out, what has that been like for you? It's been a, uh, I mean, it's it's wild uh, every year. There's people leave, people come, but um. The coaches have been here the whole time, and um, I'm I'm really happy with the team we have now. I'm having a lot of fun. I really love this team. Um, we're getting along well, uh, and we're just improving every day. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Other questions for Mike as we move along here? Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Mike, how's uh, Nigel, you know, stepped his game up since, you know, a really solid freshman season? How have you seen him grow over the offseason? What do you think we can expect from him this year? Um, I see, I, I see he's growing in uh, many ways. Uh, he's really maturing. He's, uh, he's using his voice a lot more now because he has a lot of like people like listen to what he says. And I don't know if you realize that as much last year as a freshman, but I mean, he's so talented and uh, it's, it's, it's hard to like, he's such a talented scorer that, that they like, it's, it's su surprising to see every day, but you get used to it in a way to, of being surprised. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then one thing I want, else I wanted to ask was, uh, what do you think about, you know, Selton being back, you know, on the roster after spending his his time overseas? Do you think that helped him in, in his game? And and what do you think he's like back in the gym? Yeah, he's 
he's improved so much. I mean, it's it's obvious that uh, the the playing with real professionals and grown men helped him a lot because he he's come back. He's very strong. He was already playing defense very well, but he might he he's improved like his his uh, his stamina and whatnot on defense and uh, on offense. He's more <laughs> uh, more comfortable. Uh, in the ball in situations, bringing the ball up the court and getting us into our offense. And he's, he's improved a lot. You're muted, Tom. Sorry. See, I'm, I'm breaking my own rules. So um, next question to Wyatt Thompson. Good morning, Mike. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. Good to have you back, buddy. Um, my question is for the new guys, whether they're veteran transfers or somebody like Maximus or Logan. Last year, because of the lack of, you know, just time in the gym together, it seemed like that the team really got off to a slow start defensively. How much farther along do you feel that you are now because of that? And how tough is it just with the concepts of the defense for a new person to learn, regardless of how much experience they have? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd say we're, we're so much farther along than last year. It's, it's like, it's incredible because we're able to, to start the basic principles at the beginning of summer. And um, we're having a lot of older guys or older guys back helped the new guys because, I mean, last year I was one of the few, very few veterans and it, it's hard to just to lead everybody. But when the young guys can see a full group of five doing things the right way, I think that's helped them. And um, we're, we're a lot farther along. The new guys, uh, the transfers have picked up the defense pretty fast. We still got some ways to go for sure to be where we want to be, but much farther along than last year for sure. Is there any doubt in your mind that this team will be better offensively just from the standpoint of the ability to shoot the ball? Yeah, there's there's no doubt in my mind we'll be better on offense. Um, it will just it, it'll be a matter of getting good shots every possession because we have we have a lot of people who can shoot and um, that could get their shots off almost whenever. But we got to our our mission is to get the best shot every possession, and that's what we're going to work for. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Any other questions for Mike before I let him go? Uh, another question for Kellis Robinette. Okay, I'm not muted. Great. Um, <laughs> sorry. I yeah. Can you hear me, Mike? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I I quit using Zoom a few months ago, so I'm getting back in the hang of it. Um, uh, specifically, our Mar Marquise, like what you, you talk about, guys who can create their own shot. What's he like in, in practice? How far out is his range? Yeah, his range. His range is incredible. But um, it's it's he it's clear that he could get his shot off whenever he wants. So um, for him, it's been like being a point guard, trying to um, get us into something. And then later in the shot clock, it, when it's time for him to do what he has to do, doing himself. And um, he could get hot very quick as well. So he get, when he gets hot, I'm, there's no telling what shot he's going to shoot and he can make them. So he's, he's very good and he's going to be a great addition to our team. And I know it's been a while now since you made the decision, but when you're originally mulling, you know, do you come back uh, for another year or not? What, what you made it awful quick. Why was it such an easy decision for you to come back to Kansas State? Uh, because I, I, I knew we were better. Uh, we'd be better. I trust Weber more than like we have a relationship that you can't just create in one year. And um, all, all the coaches really. So it was a, it was a quick decision because it was an easy decision. And then, when I made the decision, like I had a vision in my head of how I would make things to like be the how the team would look, and I think it's just just right on point with that. 
cool. Thanks. Glad to hear it. Thank you. Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. The leadership of Mike uh, Mark Smith has been talked about before with me. Have you seen that? Because he come in and shown that he can be a leader with you on this team. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Mark Mark's full of energy. Every day, you could count on him to come have positive energy and to just play hard. And it it's it's what we needed. Um, he's been around. He's played in the Big Ten and the SEC. So he he has a lot of experience and he's a, he's a really good player and he he knows what he knows what he's doing. He's seen things that a lot of us haven't seen. So his leadership's been great. And then I know it's just me asking a bunch of bunch, bunch of other dudes, but I just want to know also about other newcomers like um, Maximus Edwards and, and Logan Landers, both freshmen. Um, how have you seen them come along? You know, in the very early stages of their K State careers. Yeah, I just being a freshman. It's, it's tough and um they've both handled it so well they they still they come every day ready to get better and um they know they're gonna come and they're gonna do stuff wrong because that's just how it is they're, they're not used to it they've been playing high school but they've done so well they both play very hard um max max is very athletic and logan pl can really rebound the ball and he plays very hard so it, it'll be it'll be fun to watch them develop and the last thing I got for you is what do you think the coach, how do you think the coaches have done, you know, getting this group to, to buy in together? Or do you think it was more just naturally all these really good personalities coming together? Or was it just a mixture of the two? Uh, the coaches have done a, a, a great job, to say the least. Um, to get the transfers that they did, to, to really adjust and learn from last year and, and move forward from it in a positive manner, everything's been positive and the coaches have done a great job so far. And I'm looking forward to what they're going to do this year, because when it comes to defensive scouts and stuff, when the season gets going, they're second to none. And uh, I'm, I'm just really excited for the season to start. And actually one more thing I wanted to ask you is what do you expect, or if you don't expect yeah, you can say that, but what do you think your role will be this season with, you know, all these other pieces, where do you expect to be on the floor and what kind of things do you think you'll be doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to be out there and I'm going to be helping the team win in whatever fashion that looks like. If, if that's five assists, if that's 10 rebounds, whatever, whatever I'm called to do, I'm going to do it to help the team win. And, that's, that's all I really strive for, to help the team win. Appreciate it, Mike. Okay, next question to Ryan Gilbert. Hey, Mike, good to see you again. Uh, what are the keys to keeping the momentum that you guys had over the last month of last season? Um, I think the momentum was kept already. Um, going into, I mean, because once the offseason starts, it's time to get better. And uh, we did that from the spring to the summer. We just continued to improve, work hard, get better. And into this fall, we're just, we're trying to keep that mentality of, of coming to coming to the gym every day to get better, to do what we have to do to win games when it, the time comes. And uh, we got, uh, what we with what we got ahead of us, we're just going to take it day by day and improve. Uh, because that's what we did last season. Ultimately, we improved every day, and going into this season, we gotta we're we're just continuing to improve. And I think the sky's the limit. And I know it's early, but what are the similarities that you can see in this team so far that you saw in the Big Twelve Championship teams and also the Elite Eight team? It's. I think. I think we're. It's. I think we're different in a lot of ways. Because on those teams, we had Cam, Barry, Dean, and X, who had been here. And um, they grew up in the program, and, and they learned through the, the, the long haul. But this, this team's a little different in ways with how we're constructed. We got new guys who are going to be a big factor, and young guys who are going to be big factors. So... I'd say the biggest similarity will be defense and because uh, defense travels, defense carries. And we, we go back and we watch film of, the, of those teams because 
we want to see how they go, how we guarded back then. And we want to be able to bring that back and even maybe bring it to a higher level. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I don't know. We have just, if we have a couple more minutes, if anybody has another question for Mike or I can let him go. Looks like everybody came through. So, okay. Well, Mike, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time today as always. I appreciate that. So uh, we, will, we will see you soon. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Tom.